Over half the viewers that watch my videos are not subscribed. If you love the game and like what you see, hit subscribe, click the bell and remember to enable all notifications. If you want to support the channel like these members and become a zombie slayer, click the join button and see what it entails. My social info such as Facebook, Twitter and PayPal are in the description down below. I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys and welcome back to Simulate Salai, Darkest Falls mod. We're just going to keep on going from where we left off. Last episode we built the 7x7 tower and we did the walls and the roof and everything. And we wasted, or rather I wasted, a ton of titanium. Technically because I'm using this now, we didn't need those blocks over there. And those blocks over there. And then also, I just, yeah, this design. I wanted the wedge chip to be over here so I can just shoot out to the sides of here. But I had to use these blocks over here and that looks ugly. So this block over here could have even been a full block. When I have the time, I think I'll break that out. But I'm first going to have to go mining for more titanium. Who knows, perhaps when I dig down over here to go to make my bunker base... There's going to be a ton of titanium downstairs. But before then, I want to have a ton of uh, turrets trained up here. Because I'm going to be using my tur uh, my auger. It's going to make a ton of noise, but if we go deep enough, it shouldn't matter. I'm going to go as deep as possible. And then I want automated turrets up here. Not junk turrets, automated turrets. To fire at any uh, streamer that thinks she can get close. We don't want to be digging downstairs all of a sudden and worry about, oh no, our base is getting wrecked upstairs. Okay, so um, we're going to start with the outside of here. I need to really think how I'm going to do this, guys. So, we are going to have uh, two blade traps this side, two blade traps that side to cover where the zombies walk on this side. We're going to have two blade traps on uh, overhead so the zombies walking in the middle, the tall ones at least get hit. The short ones I don't care about. I can just sh sh fire in a sh uh, straight line over here. The problem is going to be like the behemoths and stuff. So, I don't know if I want to have it like a hole of two and then the blade trap on top of that. Um, we want basically all the zombies to be able to get hit, but demolishers, if they run straight down the middle, they will not get hit by the blade traps. And the blade traps do a, a ton of damage. What I could also do is, but then I'm going to use way less blade traps. Put two on this side, where the blades are actually, like the, um, the thing is actually sticking out, which is going to be bad because it might get hit. Um, so then we have the legs over here getting hit by the blade trap. And then the, I if I shouldn't try that. But then again, the only problem is with that design, it's only going to be one by one, by one or two by one block. And the behemoths can't fit through a one by one block like this, a, a, a one wide block. They have to have a little bit more room, otherwise they're going to start destroying the walls. Basically, what I wanted to do, uh, do guys, is place a blade trap right here, and right here, so it covers the, uh, the feet. And then put a floor over here, and on the second block, put a blade trap and a blade trap so it covers the head. You guys saw how awesome these titanium blade traps are during the horde. Where they utterly destroy those graces. And now I need to think, what do I need to place over here? This is going to have to be like an incline block. Like this, right? We want the loot bags to be able to fall down. Um, yes. We could also use the wedge, uh, the wedge blocks. I just don't want too many uh, zombies to be able to see me from downstairs. If I do this, they'll definitely be that. It's going to be too little space. But I could always, guys, I could actually put an upside down wedge exactly in this position. Where it's sharp and then goes up to there. And I put a blade trap on that. But then the half of the blade trap will be sticking out. And any zombie that wants to pass through might actually hit the blade trap instead of go for the walls. That's the biggest thing I'm worried about. If it wasn't for that, I'd actually use this kind of defense. So for now, we're just going to place it over there. And yeah, unfortunately, we won't have the blade trap design that I really want at the moment. But hey, uh, we have to make sacrifices Okay, at least all the loot bags should fall down. Now, last time it wasn't uh, wide enough, so that it didn't really fall down during the hordes. Okay, five, six. Copy rotation. Two, three, four, five, six. So these are where the blade traps are going to be. Then I need a wall to protect my blade traps. I'm just going to use full blocks. There's no reason not to use full blocks. Copy rotation. Any zombies? Any zombies? I don't want to jump down and all of a sudden there's a behemoth behind me. That's just going to go up and then this needs to go out. Like so. I don't want zombies to be able to touch those blocks over there. I need to see what the structural integrity on these blocks are. I have no idea. I might be adding all these blocks for no reason. Okay, I should technically also just make myself, make myself an entrance over here. So if something attacks me, I can just do this. Oh, safe. Okay, these have a mass of 10. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, guys, these are insanely tough. What this means is you take the horizontal support, divide by mass. 
So you can have one block, like this one on the side, can hold 40 blocks out. But remember, in dark, in 7 SLI, it can only go 16 out. So those 40 blocks need to go 15 out and then up and down and left and right. And as long as it doesn't go past 15 away from the building, the structural integrity is insane on these blocks. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I could have actually gone one block back even further. I don't want zombies being able to hit the blocks over here. But I don't want to destroy stuff again. Um, it's just going to be a waste of resources at the moment. So we're going to go up like this. It just protects our blade traps that we're going to put at the back. And then one, two, three, four. All behemoths should be able to pass through this doorway over here. I hope. If they can't, they're going to start destroying the roof. So we're going to put blade traps right here. Which means I need to quickly start making them as well. Let me just check. Titanium blade traps. We need oil. I think I brought oil. I hope I brought oil. But we're definitely going to need the workbench. Because it's for some reason it's not in the metal workbench. It's a normal workbench. I'm going to place that there. Let me just make sure. Uh, blade trap. Yeah. We have to make it over here. Okay. Now we need electrical parts, mechanical parts, oil and forge. I think all of that's in the bike. It's just, I need to make sure my bike doesn't despawn as well. And guys, it's almost night time, and then behemoths and demons and all that stuff's going to come out the woodwork. Ooh, we don't have enough electrical parts. We have mechanical parts, but that's not enough. Okay, we need mechanical parts, and we need oil. Yeah, and we might be only able to make one blade trap right now. Let me just see. The blade traps require how much? Six. I wonder if I shouldn't go to the trader. Although, no, we need to actually put a ton of stuff down over here in boxes. We need to go back to the base and grab all our coins and stuff, and then go to the Caitlyn traders. Because we might be able to buy all the resources we need for the rest of the stuff from them. But I also need to place my land claim before we go. Do we have any wood over here? But, okay, let's just first place these two blocks. So we're going to do this. So we have some space to work with over here. I also need to see, uh, in the middle it needs to be... Remember, I want a blade trap sticking downwards. So that means one, two, that's going to be the blade, that's going to be the body. So on top of this block is where I need to place this one. There you go. Yes, I think. I hope that was right. Okay, I need some wood quickly. I know I brought some wood with me, so it should be on the bike over here. And if I forgot it, then I can at least... Yeah, I think I dropped it. I can at least cut down a tree or something in the area. Although, where's all the trees? There's none in the vicinity of here. I just need 10 wood. If I have 10 wood, I can actually just quickly make one chest at least, and then we can drop all our stuff in there. 7. Oh man, come on. 10, there you go. One chest. Boom. Okay, so it's going to drop into that slot. We'll be able to get some space. We need to go get that cash and make a trip to the Caitlin's. If we can buy all the electrical parts we need right now, we can just make all six blade traps just like that. Okay. Guys, this, this place has such an eerie effect. It's insanely creepy over here. Okay, um, I might just need to make another one for the rest of the... I want to put all the workbenches and all the building supplies, all that stuff together. To know exactly where to look for what. Okay, we need one more. Before it turns 10, we need to be out of here because it's going to start spawning demonic zombies. We can always take them out, uh, don't get me wrong. We can easily take out the demonic zombies, but if we start getting demons and stuff as well... Well, yeah, we just need to be very careful with what we do in the area. Okay, craft, and that should still go into the same slot. Thank you. I wonder if I can grab all the stuff off the bike without encumbering myself. No. Okay, it was worth a try, because I need to place all the bed, uh, bedroll, not the bedroll. Oh, I do need to place a bedroll, though. Although the bedroll is safe where it is at the moment. We don't really have to worry too much about that. So, we're going to do that for one, two, three. All these over here, just one of each, so we can just shift-click it in. And... Why not the gyrocopter parts as well? Okay. Dump that. These are resources. Dump those. See, all this stuff needs to go in there, unfortunately, because they go into the workbenches. This is mine. That stays. We already put one down. That's why that one didn't go in. Okay. What else? What else? What else? I need to clear my bike out. There you go. And let's just pick up the bike. I'm going to have to drive away from here. Ooh, which reminds me. We don't have enough gas in it to go where we need to go, so we need to start wrenching cars as well. The only problem is at night when there's demonic zombies and stuff spawning, you don't have the time to just stop at a car and quickly wrench it. So while we have light over here for another 40 in-game minutes, let's just quickly get some gas. 
I need to at least semi fill up my tank or halfway fill up my tank. There is also at least a shotgun messiah factory over here, so there's a ton of cars. And that's also bad because we're close to one of the biggest towers in the game, which means the lag might be a little bit much. Okay, I'm going to jump up here. There's cars at the back. So yeah, I want to clear out all the dirt and stuff over here. I want to make all this floor. But for that, we're not going to have enough titanium at the moment. I even doubt we're going to have enough titanium just to do the casing over here and then start the floor. I want to make the floor out of titanium. So I can just see us uh, using the day with the other base again for the day 91 horde. It's four days away. So even if I go mining right now, I won't, have, I won't be back in time to do everything I need to do. Which kind of sucks. Okay, building supplies. That counts as well. Why not? Um, dump, dump, dump. That, this, 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 and that. Okay, unfortunately we're going to have to drop the rest of the stuff over here for now. Blue, dump, thank you. Okay, so we just need electrical parts, right? Technically we could just go into one of these places and range. But I want to go back to the Caitlin Traders and see if we can't just buy all the resources we need. We have all the cash. But first, obviously, we're going to have to go back to the base and grab all the cash over there. 15 in-game minutes. It's not looking good. I just want a little bit more wood over here. I could have sworn I had a stack of wood on me, but for some reason it's gone. Okay, make two more of these. I want to make sure I don't have anything on us while we're driving about, because I don't want to be able, I don't want to be encumbered while demons and behemoths and stuff are chasing us. This is already going to get hectic, guys, especially the wandering awards and stuff. Every night's going to be almost like a horde night if you're not careful. If you make too much noise, oh, it's going to be insane. Okay, we're going to drop these as well. Thank you. And then the rest of the stuff, I think, should fit in here. Boom. We only have 489 titanium blocks left. Now, that looks or sounds like a lot, but it's not. It's not nearly enough. Okay, the bike. How much gas do you need? Just quickly fill you up. And that was all my gas. So, it was definitely not full yet. Let me just check over here. 94%. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so we need to watch out for fire. If we see any fire, we know that there's demonic zombies in the area. The nice thing is, we should also be able to just check like this. It doesn't look like something spawned in the area, so we're good to go. I haven't really come across any snakes. I think I've killed one in the entire series, and it's already day 80-something. Which is insane if you think about it. Okay, so we definitely first need to go back to the base, unfortunately. Because we don't have any cash at the moment, and we need cash. So we're just going to take that path over there, go the normal route, and go through the hills. As, as soon as we get to the hills, it's going to be safe. But up until the hills, guys, this is going to be a little bit dangerous. Make sure all our guns are reloaded. This one, just in case you come across a demon. If I can kill a demon, guys, the loot bag, if it drops one, is going to be insane. It feels so creepy that there's no sound, no zombies, nothing. This area is supposed to be crawling with zombies, unless they only spawn near the town. Or inside the town, which is actually going to help us a bit. If they don't spawn exactly where we are, then we don't have that much of a trouble all the time. There's a demonic zombie over there. I'm gonna have to pass it though. Just check. Yeah, we're gonna have to pass it. One, two, three demonic zombies, and they're gonna start shooting rockets at us. Just go this way around. Please don't get hit. I don't wanna get on fire right now. Guys, when you get light a lit on fire like that, it actually takes away from your water. That's why we when we went and did the big tech bunker, we lost so much water so fast because the more you burn, the more you dry out. There are dogs everywhere, raided everywhere. The only ones I'm really worried about at the moment are the behemoths. Oh, that was just a... Ooh, that was a hellhound. I don't know how fast they are. Probably I shouldn't say stuff like that because just now it catches me while I'm on the bike. Yeah, we just need to watch out mostly for the demons. The actual demon bosses. Oh, wow. If they shoot at one zombie, they actually annihilate the demonic ones. Even though their regen is so high, if, if more than one guard actually manages to hit the thing, then it's awesome. I need to be careful I don't spin out of here. As soon as we go over the hill, we need to slow down because it turns a lot of here. There you go. Okay, so we should be safe now. I'm just quickly going to go to the base, grab all the stuff we need, the coin, the resources. We do have a little bit more resources at the base. So I'm just going to make sure we grab everything, especially the coin. Because if we can sell all that or just buy a ton of stuff from the traders, why not? See you guys now. Okay, so I decided to cut out where I went to the base and everything just to save some time as well. Grab some guns, grab some mods. The guns I grabbed because I want to make myself uh, some AKs. Uh, well, AKs and shotguns. I want to make myself the steel turrets. I just realized I didn't have any points in steel turrets or any ranged turrets and stuff. 
So I just quickly bought those and ooh, I just realized we're gonna go into the trader right now to sell stuff, to buy stuff. But now there's demonic zombies all around. We're gonna call or draw attention to ourselves now with all these zombies. Yeah, let me just quickly see if I can't help the traders over here. Okay. You're normal? Ooh, this is bad. Okay, so first with this gun. Wait, what? What just hit me? Where are you? Okay, um... Make sure they can't heal themselves. There you go. You guys, you first hit them with the... I just broke. You first hit them with the energy turrets. Ooh, almost accidentally shot the guard. That would have been bad. You hit them with the energy turrets and then you hit uh, with the uh, energy pistol and then you hit them with some other stuff. Laser pistol. How do you break in? Oh, from over there. Okay, so, um, you know what? Let me just quickly first kill the rest of the zombies over here. This is way too much noise right now. I just hit that zombie to stop it from healing. The, tur the guard should be able to kill it. Did you just die? I just fell down. Come on. Why are the guards not shooting anymore? It's not even healing itself anymore, but they're not shooting. So by the time the the laser pistol's effect when it runs off, all of a sudden you'll be able to heal again. Okay, so. No noise on the outside. Let's just quickly sell all the mods over here. Um, on the one hand, I want to sell. I've just repaired all these AKs to sell, so I'm going to sell them. Um, the reason being, we do have all the AK parts and stuff over here, and we do have those lathes. So we'll be able to just make our own. And remember, that's all that I worry about, being able to make my own. Ooh, uh, Thank you. let's drink this. And talk to her. And then sell stuff. Now, this one's the old one we had. Remember, guys, we made ourselves a new one. The advanced one. So now we just need three slots over there. I don't know how to unlock those last three slots. Um, okay, that was a mistake. Yeah, let's just sell them. We can make even more shotguns because I have all the parts over here. Okay, sell, sell, sell. You don't want those. Okay. So please tell me you have electrical parts and mechanical parts. That's all I really need right now. That's literally all. The, the only reason I'm here is for those parts. Fusion Forge, 37,000. We already have one. And since we have that crafting bug, we only need the one. It's a shame though, if we if we could just use more forges and uh, get the heat map high enough. I want to be able to get that challenge from zombies by making sure my heat map is really nice and high. So the next series I'm going to make sure I don't I don't max anything out. I don't, I'm not going to take the chance again. Okay, uh, gunpowder, why not? While we have grandpa's awesome source, we can just as well quickly buy all the stuff we need. Okay, so electrical parts, that's, ooh, that's way more than we needed I think. We get all the mechanical, we have all the electrical over here, we can get all the duct tape, some more oil, why not? Um, yeah, oil shell for gas, because we keep running out of gas. More electric, no, I just need electrical now, we have a ton of mechanical. Um, we do, you know, I'm gonna buy the whole stack. If, uh, if on the second one we can Thank actually you. get more, that's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna see if we can't quickly go to the next one and hopefully uh, buy from it before this thing runs out. I'm not even going to loot this. Guys, these zombies just now might have dropped something awesome. These demonic zombies. Oh, Hellhound. You can actually see it looks like he's been skinned. But yeah, um, I need to get to the next trader before time runs out on the Grandpa's Awesome Source. It looks like it might just stack him, though it doesn't show that it stacks. But I'm not going to take that chance right now. I can't afford to take that chance. I'm going to see if we can't buy a few more electrical parts, mechanical parts from this next trader. Oops, hello, hello, hello. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Radiated dog. We need to go straight over. These don't get stuck on anything right now. That's going to suck. Especially if there's like demonic zombies and stuff vomiting at me. You don't want to get stuck behind buildings and stuff like that. Three, three seconds left. Where's this next Caitlyn? What the hell was that just now? That sounded really, really nasty for some reason. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Three, two seconds left. Can I make it to her before time runs out, or am I going to get stuck on a ton of buildings and debris and stuff? I could actually try and drink another Grandpa's also. I could always make more. So for now, I'm just going to see if I can't quickly drink one more before the 15 seconds stops. Come on, get to the front, get to the front. 12 seconds left, and Grandpa's awesome sauce. 
Wait, where is the grand? Oh, did I drop it? No. No. Where's the other grandpa's awesome sauce? Oh, there it is. I, I couldn't see it in time. If you drink it now, I don't think it... Oh, it does work for three more min minutes. It, d it didn't use to in Alpha 18. Okay, so I'm just glad it works. <laughs> Ooh, imagine I accidentally put this on her. That's going to suck. Because then they might just take offense to the fact I just... Home there. Princess over here. Okay, solar bank. We have... Oh, there's another thing. We need solar cells. Come on, what do you have for me? What do you have for me? Motion sensors we need for the turrets. And then just get more electrical parts and stuff over here. That's going to be awesome. But yeah, guys, it used to be that you have to wait for good drink to run out before you're able to use more stuff. But now you, you don't have to wait for that. That's awesome. Oh, come on. No electrical. Why is electrical so hard to find all of a sudden? We have a ton of mechanical. Um, let's see. Anything else? Anything else? Gunpowder more? No, thank you. Spotlights? Yeah, why not? If we can get some spotlights going, you can actually see what we're doing at night. And also, we'll be able to see all the zombies approach us much, much easier. Thank you. Okay, so we need to go back to our base, which we started building where? Over there. See, I need to mark it. Because we don't have anything on the map yet. Base. So we don't have anything on the map. I don't really know where that is. Okay. Did that zombie get in or not? Just now it's a demonic one or a radiator one or something like that. Duck back there. What is this? Uh, just the normal. I think it's going to be a tough one, right? Usually they're tough if they're not... Yeah, tough zombie. For some reason, the wasteland, all the zombies are tough. And then a ton of them are also demonic. And the demonic ones do not despawn, guys. So you have to be careful. But are still in the area now. So we have to be really, really careful now. Okay. Uh, we should be able to drive right through. Yeah. If there are still demonic ones and they didn't die or something, then we'll kill them because their loot sometimes is really, really great. Just sometimes, though. Not always. I need to also take out the blocks and stuff on the floor over here. So if I dr uh, drive between the two traders over here, the two cutting traders, we don't have to worry too much. Okay, snakey, snakey, snake. Hello, snakey, snakey. Whoops. Come on. Oh, there you go. Oh, just the last second. I think just before he was about to pounce, I actually managed to hit his face. But yeah, if we want to... Uh, I actually want to make a road from this skate into the next one. So I'm going to dig into the mountain over there. And just make sure we have that path. We don't have to worry about stuff like that as well. Ooh, there's still a demonic zombie at the back. Look at that, he's just walking around. I wonder if there's also behemoths walking around. I have no idea, but I don't want to- I really don't want to find out right now. Okay, so we're going to grab some gas over here. Oh, uh, was, was this one? Nope. Where did I put all the gas? It's this, this, titanium, and gas. Am I just looking past- yeah, there you go. Oil. I mean oil, not gas. Okay, blade trap. We just need... I should actually put the other workbench down as well. Because this is going to take way, way too long. Uh, where's the other one? There you go. Don't I need like a claw hammer and stuff to make this? I don't have any tools in there, but it doesn't say I need anything to make it. That is so weird. You don't need any tools to be able to make one of the strongest blade traps in the game. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we need to make three in this one, three in this one. So we just have exactly enough of what we need. So we're going to have two blade traps on this side, two on this side for the zombies that walk. The zombies that walk over here, they're, uh, they're going to get hit in the face and in the bodies. And then we're going to have one upside down on its side of here so the heads get slashed as well. And then I need to decide how I'm going to design this. Uh, we're going to put the blade trap over here. So, okay, where's that titanium now? Also guys, I realized what I did wrong. In, the other, in our other base, we don't have wedges over here. We have a pole there, a pole there, and then the incline over here. So that's why I couldn't get in over there, but I can get in over here. I kind of missed up a little bit. Okay, so we're going to grab this. Just jump through again. I need to make sure that I don't see any vultures and stuff. <gasps> oh, you guys see what I see, right? What if I can't get his attention and make him come to me? Okay, so if I can first kill this guy... On. The fire needs to go out, then you know it's dead. If the fire doesn't go out, then it's not dead. Uh, doggy over there. Bye bye. That's a muted soldier. The way he's walking. No, that's a muted white. He's very, very tall. Okay, so we're just going to get the demon's attention. That's a boss demon. Not oh, boss demon, behemoth. Boss behemoth. This is the radiated behemoth. Yeah, come on, all the way. You just need to be careful because he can do a ton of damage to our titanium. We don't want him wrecking our titanium over here. 
Oh, he's still healing. Although, oh, the laser weapons only stop the demons from healing. Behemoths still heal because they're radiated. Yeah, I wonder how many more behemoths are walking around in the area. I just saw him in the corner of my eye, so there might be even more in this area. Oh, look at that. If we can just continuously kill a ton of behemoths, we'll be set. But I want them to walk in through the defense over here, not just wail my block because I'm standing over here. Since they have no way to get to me, they're going to start digging into the walls, and we don't want that. Okay, so what I'm going to do over here. Copy rotation. So the blade trap's going to be right here. The blades are going to be on this block and this block over here. And then this is going to be the back plate. I technically don't want to have any electric fence posts this time over here where the blade traps are. But I wonder if I shouldn't actually put them in. Because they do help a ton with uh, just controlling all the zombies. You don't want too many zombies over here just running through. You want them to get shocked. So I wonder if I shouldn't add those in. I'm going to have to make them though because we don't have any of those parts. But hey, it's easy enough to craft. I just, I'm really scared of this guy. He's mutated and he's very tough. I don't go down and all of a sudden he get him hitting me from behind. Okay, he's dead. That is just a raided guy. Guys, that vulture made a really bad sound earlier. I was like, wait, what was that? He sounded like a boss or a demon vulture. But there's no way it uh, can be a demon vulture because as far as I know, there's no such thing. But that really sounded so damn creepy. So this goes around the corner. I almost messed up just now. I'm going to do this. Okay, technically the electric fence post should be as far as, uh, as far as possible away from the blade traps. So if something explodes here by the blade traps, like say for example a demolisher zombie, it doesn't harm the electric uh, traps on that side. So I have an idea of what I want to do, but I first need to quickly put this in. Oh, no, 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 I can't afford to put these in. Because I still need to connect the electric fence posts. That was almost a very big mistake. Okay, so... I wonder if I shouldn't just put the electric fence post in. If they break, they break. I can always just repair them later. Otherwise, it's going to be way too much stuff that I need to fix the whole time. Okay, uh, did I bring... No, I didn't bring any forged iron, did I? Damn it. Okay, so we might need to go buy some from the traders then. We're going to need to make us some electric fence posts. We just bought two. If I'm not mistaken... Ooh, laser-bladed sword. What? What is this called? Uh, this looked so weird. This looked different. Plasma baton. That that seems really powerful. Yeah, um, electric. Yeah, we need forged iron, unfortunately. Damn it. So I need to go back to the Caitlin quickly and just buy some of that. At least we have a ton of cash left, so it's not too bad. But I want to have this stuff crafted and done, uh, so we can just keep on going from there. I need to drive back now just because I forgot something. It's a little bit bad. At least if I can just make a nice straight line, I can drive without having to worry about getting stuck on anything or getting attacked. It's going to suck if you get stuck on a block and all of a sudden a behemoth hits you. See, for this path of here, straight towards the trade-off, I can just make like a road or something for me to drive on. So I don't have to worry about getting stuck. And I want to make a hole right through the hill so we can make it from the one to the other one. If we can get make it to both Caitlyn's in a record time without having to go around or over a hill, man, we're going to get a ton of loot. A ton of resources. I just hope she has some forged iron. I know the other one did, but I don't know if this one has. Please tell me I have some forged iron. I just hope I mislooked. Uh, oh yes, forged iron. There you go. Thank you. Just need that much. Thank you. Unfortunately, she doesn't have the already made electric fence posts. Otherwise, I would have just gotten that. It's so much easier. Okay, now I need to. You know what? I'm just gonna let my bike destroy all the. Uh, what do you call these things again? All the stone blocks. Seed up. Uh, for some reason, I forgot these blocks. What's this called again? The, the, the word is stuck in the back of my head, but I just can't... Cinder blocks. Cedar blocks. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I'm going to destroy all the cinder blocks just driving my bike. That should also fix the issue. We don't have anything on the bike, right? Let me just pick that up. Oops, oops, oops. Just realized I don't have a way in. That's bad. Anything can attack me right now because I'm defenseless. Um, I need a wooden block. I just need two wood. Come on. Okay, now I just need to make myself one of these. See, now anything could have attacked me while I was down here. That was a dumb mistake on my part. You always need to make sure you're prepared for stuff like this. Okay, so we need to make... We already have two, right? Electric fence post. We need six, twelve. So we need to make ten. So five on this one. Electric fence post. Five. So at least it's going to be fast. It's nice. It's not going to take way too long. Electric. One, two, three, four. Uh, five, there you go. 
And now that we have the, uh, the blade traps, at least we can start placing these while we wait for those. So everything works out. See, unfortunately, these guys, because it's an uneven build, if this was an even build, and these two wedges were right next to each other, then the zombies would have to walk through both sides' blades. But now at the moment, if the zombies aren't in a hurry and they're not pushing each other into the blades, they can just pass both of these. This is just because we know, whoops, we know that the Night Stalkers loved during the Horde to take the wedge tip uh, defensive here and then go from there. Oh wow, we can actually crouch out. So if we can crouch out, body bags and bodies, oh, zombies are also ragdolling, will fall through easier. Remember during the last horde, the one demolisher got stuck over here and exploded on the blade traps? We don't want that happening again. Ever, ever again. Yeah, this one's going to go on its side. Uh, so we need to go for advanced rotation. Unfortunately, I can't place it yet. If I place it like this, it's going to have to go like this. But I'm going to put one like this and the other one on that side. But it needs to be high enough. Yeah, this should be okay. I wonder if I shouldn't put a place of one higher. That normal zombies can walk over here, but anything taller will get it. I'm just afraid that uh, Behemoths destroy these, because they can actually... I don't know. Then I'm going to have to take that block out of there. I'm just afraid if I put it too high, then no zombies will get hit. Although then again, um, if I put it low enough, it might force zombies to walk on the sides of here. Even Behemoths might want to walk there, so this should actually be okay. I'm going to test it and see if zombies actually... If, for example, when I drive on a bike, I drive through a survivor. I don't hit that survivor. There's no hitbox. So I want to see if zombies walk over here. Do they walk over the blades? Or do they walk through the blades? I need to make it so the zombies don't destroy these. They just come for me straight. I'm going to put these in and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to have to make another plan. But I really, really, really hope it works. Now, before we can put those in, we need the electric fence posts. And then this time, I'm going to have to make sure that the rotation's right. Last time, we had the wrong rotation. Okay, so, we're going to go. It's going to be one, two out. And then the back ends need to be connected to this. I just hope this weight doesn't get too much. Uh, it can hold 40. Oh, crap, that was a mistake. It can hold 40. But uh, you don't want to accidentally put too much weight. Because remember, now the side blocks are also helping carry. So it shouldn't be a problem, but I, as soon as I can, I need to put a pillow or something down here. You know what? One last time, we're going to do like we did last time. So we're going to go CM. Oh, we're still on from last time. <laughs> okay, we're going to put that in. So we're going to go for dev block. Remember guys, I'm pre-recording these videos. That's why some of the stuff's still in motion. Uh, yeah, we're going to take these out. Because I'm pre-recording, um, yeah, sometimes I forget to put, like, for example, this off. You did tell me that was just a screamer spawning in. I forget to turn these things off and then in other episodes it looks, oh wait, why do you have create menu open? Meanwhile, it's been open for a while. But I'm gonna do this. Please don't cave in from me doing this. That's really truly gonna suck. Yeah, at least now it shouldn't cave in. I can actually put one block there now because this is gonna be a thick pillar. We don't want any zombies going for this one pillar and then the weight just gets too much for this place. I just really hope there's no screamer in the area that I missed. Okay, um, let's check what's on this side. What does this side look like? Two full blocks. Why on this side didn't I do that? I could have still not placed blocks over here unless it glitched out on me. And if that's the case, that's going to suck. Imagine your, def uh, your defense just ends up disappearing on you. Okay, so this is going to be the floor. The blade traps are equal with this one. So this is going to be the floor where they stand on. Now with the other block over there, the pillar guys, it's actually helping carry all this weight. We don't have to worry too much about the weight right now. And then the electric fence post will be in here. Now I wonder if for the electric fence post at least, I don't want to make the rest steel so we can save up on the titanium a bit. At the moment we're wasting so much titanium, it's insane. Okay, so this needs to be a floor. Two, three. Same on this side. I just hope that zombie doesn't attack me while I'm not looking. Although at the moment guys, with my HP and stamina and everything as high as it is, Every time a zombie hits me, you just hear a dinging sound. It's like I'm um, fully metal. I'm fully, they can't do any damage to me. Which is actually really cool. <laughs> it's like I'm, uh, I'm OP at the moment for normal zombies, and then only demons and behemoths can really truly hurt me. Even with all my HP and stuff, if a, if a behemoth hit me right now, it would be an, uh, do an insane amount of damage. I should probably just put this thing away. Oh, I put, turn it off without putting this back. Boom. Um, that was almost stuck in my inventory. There you go. Okay, so now we can... That's the last time I'm going to go into creative to destroy blocks, guys. From now on, if we place any blocks wrong, 
Yeah, that's gonna suck. Any block at all wrong, we're gonna have to destroy it with the auger. At least now we should be safe from any screamer wards and stuff. It shouldn't be too hard to take out a screamer. Wait, what? Okay. That's kind of rotation I want. This time around, I'm placing the heads on the right side. With my other defense, guys, for those of you who don't know, um, I messed up the first time I did this by putting the heads on that side. So the line had to stretch further just to do its job. But even the, now at the moment, one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. That's six. That's nine. Yeah, we can go literally go one another block out and it'll still reach. These can reach 13 blocks far. That's insane if you think about it. It's a shame that laser weapons only stop uh, the demonic zombies from healing. Imagine that also stopped the radiators over here. Although we do have... This thing on. Rad remover. So that technically stops them from healing themselves. I almost forgot about that completely. It feels so weird running here and almost getting stuck. Almost falling off. And since we slide and zombies don't, we just need to be careful that we don't end up getting stuck and dying over here. Come on. Okay, so we just need our... Uh, where is that? Please tell me I have my wire cutter over here. I think it might still be on us, or it might be in one of these boxes. If I didn't bring a wire cutter, no. Hmm, that's gonna suck. Wire cutter, wire cutter. If I don't have one, I should be able to make one, hopefully. Let me just check. Wire cutter. Wire tool, not wire cutter. Okay, just steel and mechanical parts. Not bad, not bad. We do have steel over here, so... I mean, it's a waste of steel because we do have a ton of wire tools. But at the moment, we're just worried about being able to make these quickly. Why a tool? Why don't I need any tools to make these? It feels so weird not having to use any tools. Okay, we're going to put all those, this stuff away for now. Gun parts. Uh, I could have sworn we had more over here somewhere. Unless I'm just looking past them right now. We need to sort our inventory, basically. And also, we need to start using the motion sensors and guns over here to make ourselves turrets. I want to go mining, but first I need turrets over here protecting my base. Also, we do have stone on us over here. I'm just quickly going to make a land claim because we need to be able to tell where this base is. It sucks not knowing where to drive to when you're driving around and about. Okay, guys, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to call the episode here. This is going to be a few episodes of building and then we're also going to go exploring as soon as we have our defenses up here. And we can afford to go out and stuff like that. Yeah, we're going to do that. I think next episode we're going to start wiring all this up, putting the other blade traps in, and then I also want to try and see if we can't make that bunker together. Usually I dig off camera, but since we do have titanium augers and... No, I just need to go get some gas out there. Or just place my chemistry station because I do have oil shale from the trader. But if I can just get that gas and dig with you guys, it's, it's going to be really fast. The titanium auger is massively, truly powerful. If you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback that I miss anything, what you guys think about this episode, anything at all, leave a comment down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time as we continue building.